Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel! This is Mom Saibel Explains. This video is all about routine and non-routine problems involving division of decimals and whole numbers including money. We have the first question here. I have a pile of books inside my study room. Each book has a height of 1 and 2,500 centimeters. How many books do I have if the height of the pile is 40 centimeters? Our equation will be 40 divided by 1 and 2,500 is equal to blank. Since our divisor is a decimal, we need to change it into a whole number. It takes two decimal places to move that. We will do that also in our dividend. Our new equation will be 4,000 divided by 125. Let's divide. 4,000 divided by 125, we get... How many 125s are there in 400? There are three. Three times 125 is 375. Then subtract 400 minus 375 we have 25 bring down zero there are two 125s and 250 and we get 32 books that would mean i have 32 books that pile up inside my study room next question Peach bought 2 kilos of onions for 360 pesos. Gray spent 142 pesos and 50 centavos for 1 and 5 tenths kilos of garlic. They decided to pay these goods equally. How much will each one will have to share? Our equation will be 360 plus 142 pesos and 50 centavos divided by 2. Next, we have to perform first the one inside the parenthesis. That's 360 plus 142 and 50 centavos. And that will give us 502 pesos and 50 centavos. We will divide it by 2. Since our divisor is a whole number, it is easier to perform the division. And now, we have the final answer. That will give us 251 pesos and 25 centavos. This is the amount that they need to share. Next question. Dave is an athlete. He was busy practicing for his upcoming event. Last Monday, he ran 13 and 4500 kilometers. On Tuesday, he ran two and seventy one hundreds kilometers more than monday on wednesday he ran one and seventy five hundreds kilometers less than tuesday what is the average number of kilometers dave run for three days for monday he ran thirteen and forty five hundreds for tuesday take note it is two and seventy one hundreds kilometers more than tuesday for Wednesday, all we need to do is to copy the Tuesdays given, then subtract 1 and 75 hundreds kilometers. That's for the Wednesday. Next, we have to know the total number of kilometers they've run for 3 days. We'll start off with Tuesday. We have to add 13 and 45 hundreds and 2 and 71 hundreds. And that is 16 and 16 hundreds kilometers next we have to find the number of kilometers they've run for wednesday all we need to do is to subtract one and seventy five hundreds from sixteen and sixteen hundreds and that is fourteen and forty one hundreds next is to add all three distances we'll start off with thirteen and forty five hundreds added to 16 and 16 hundreds and that is 29 and 61 hundreds we have to add it to 14 and 41 hundreds 
and the total is 44 and 2 hundredths. We have to get the average, so it means we have to divide it by 3 since we have 3 days, that's Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. We will expect our answer to be a non-terminating decimal. What do we mean by that? It means it does not end. What will we do is to settle for two decimal places and we will round off our answer to the nearest hundreds. And that is 14 and 67 hundreds kilometers. Dave can run an average of 14 and 67 hundreds kilometers every day for three days. Now, it is your turn to solve. Please write your answer in the comment section. The question is, JR bought 10 kilos of ginger for 787 pesos and 50 centavos and sold each kilo for 105 pesos. How much profit did he earn? I'll be waiting for your answer. Thank you. Don't forget to hit the like button if you think this is helpful. Till next time!